Edo People's Democratic Party, PDP, don't issue warning to the All Progressive Congress, APC, to remove hand and body from violence. The PDP chairman, Dr. Anthony Azigbimi, yandu swan for one talk session for the state party secretariat for Benin City. The Chemu Komoso took mat on the incident with Shele for the Bini Airport on July 18, 2024, where he claimed the life of the police inspector Onu Aku. Anthony Azigbime Konyan say, Edo PDP issues stern warning to APC to desist from violence and thuggery. Commiserates with the family of dead police officer, Inspector Ako. Uno. The Edo State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party expresses deep shock over the wanton destruction of properties and the death of a police officer as a result of the violence orchestrated by talks of the APC under the guise of enforcing the Abuja Federal High Court judgment that reinstated the impeached deputy governor of Edo State, Comrade Felix Schwaibo. The party is worried about the desperation of the APC and its candidate, Senator Mondo Opevolo, to cause confusion and chaos in Edo State since they are obviously not ready for the forthcoming governorship election in the state. The incident that happened yesterday at the Benin Airport was unfortunate and it is unacceptable. It shows how desperate the APC handlers have become in their bid to foist their candidate on the Doe people. It is quite disheartening that an innocent police officer lost his life due to the violence unleashed on innocent citizens by the APC led by his community candidate, Senator Monde Okwewo. The PDP expresses deep sorrow over the death of this gallant officer. We commiserate with the family of the deceased and pray that our good Lord grants him eternal rest and the family the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. It is common knowledge, commonsensical, that when a court of first instance gives a judgment, once there is a notice of appeal and, the, and a stay of execution filed at the appeal court, all parties are expected to maintain the status quo. Because the members of the APC lack common sense, they seem to misunderstand what it means to have a judgment favorable to you at a court of first instance. In any case, it is judicial officers that enforce court judgments. It is not individuals that enforce court judgments. So in this case, why would impeached Felix Weibo take laws into his hands and want to usurp the powers of judicial officers and wants to come to Edo State to reinstate himself as the deputy governor of the state? To this end, we advise the impeached deputy governor of the state to allow the law take its full course and stop instigating violence in Edo State. It should await the judgments of the appeal and ultimately the Supreme Court. The APC is hereby advised, and very strongly at that, to rein in their members as no responsible government will fold its hands and wash hoodlums harass, maim, and kill its citizens. You are invited to note that the commissioner of police was at the airport. He's reportedly, it's reported that a copy of this notice of appeal 
and stay of execution of the uh, high court judgment was shown to come a Felix Tribal. We have it on good record, and we believe so, that Felix Tribal was advised to stop this adventure of getting into town to attempt to reinstate himself. Sadly, the pleas and the orders of the Commissioner of Police were disregarded by Comrade Felix Schreiber. We also wanted to know that we also gave the Commissioner of Police intel that amongst or inside the cars parked at the airport by hoodlums and thugs of the APC were ammunition and dangerous weapons. We had expected the Commissioner of Police to act on that intelligence that we gave him. In all, we draw the attention of Edolites, and indeed Nigerians, and perhaps the international community, community, to say that all human beings, all organizations protect their self-interest. No reasonable body will work against its self-interest. The poser is, in whose interest is it for mayhem and chaos to reign in Edo State? Gentlemen of the press, you are invited to note that it is not in the interest of the PDP to have mayhem and chaos in the state. Because we are cruising to victory on the 21st of September elections. So we'll be the last set of people to want mayhem and chaos in the state. So in whose interest is chaos and mayhem? So that would be a precursor for the so-called or the phantom federal might to be brought in to be, to be brought to bear in Edo State. Clearly, it is in the interest of the blood-sucking APC party for mayhem and chaos to reign in Edo State. And we state very categorically that the PDP, the government of Edo State, will not fold its hands and allow members of the APC to destroy the peace and tranquility that has reigned in this state. It is on this note that we call on the security agencies to thoroughly in-depth analysis of the incident that happened yesterday at the Benin Airport. We urge the police, the security agencies, to carry out an autopsy on the body of the fallen hero, Inspector Ano Onu, and make his findings public so that those people will know the truth of what happened. We filed appeal, notice of appeal, and notice of uh, state of execution of the judgment reinstating Honorable Shai uh, Deputy Governor of the State. Now, the question I want to ask is this. Is PDP or the House of Assembly not aware, the legal department not aware of the superior judgment of the Supreme Court concerning the issue of state of persecution and appeal that merely filing those uh, processes in court would not translate to the order being granted? That's number one. Immediately that judgment was delivered in Abuja. The first response we got the, that, that was circulated to the press was from the state government affirming that the person appointed to replace Comrade Shaib when he was a P remained the deputy governor. I'm asking, don't you also think that that kind of statement was also capable of aggravating the already tense situation in the state? Um, what we mean, what we said, uh, so that people will get the thinking, the logic behind what we are doing. I am not a lawyer. I am not aware of that Supreme Court uh, judgment you refer to. However, I wish to draw your attention to the fact that we've had deputy governors in this country impeached before. This is not the first time. The issue will normally get to the Supreme Court. I'm sure you're talking maybe it's a Supreme Court judgment that came recently. But those 
the former deputy governors that were impeached, none of them, after the judgment of the first instance, took laws into his hands to come and reinstate himself. That is number one. Number two, individuals do not execute court judgments. They are beliefs of the court that are empowered to enforce judgments of the court. It smacks of lack of understanding of the workings of the laws of this land, which is characteristic of the APC, because they lack common sense. They can't think. And we, Edo people, will not allow them to hoodwink us. Number two, what the state government issued immediately after the court judgment is what any responsible government will do just to douse the tension. As if they knew that Felix Shabu would attempt to take laws into his hands. Even after the issuance of that statement, what did he do? He still came to Benin. He still got talks into the airport, trying to enforce a, high court judgment, a federal high court judgment. Who does that? Which government will allow that to happen? So, you know, we, 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 we think that that is why you have an appeal court. That's why you have the Supreme Court. And nothing, nothing in our laws, and I stand to be corrected, as I said, I'm not a lawyer, that says once the court of first instance um, um, gives judgment, the individual can just go in and take over whatever the, the courts have said it should, it, should, uh, it, should, it should be given. I imagine that there are processes. And once there's a stay of execution, five, common sense will tell you to let start, status quo has to remain for peace to reign. We all know that the APC as a political party have not been campaigning. And we also know that all they are used to is trying to get unconventional tactics to get to government house. And these are part of their strategies. It is common knowledge. The court, <clears throat> the court of first instance, in a matter that the, there is the possibility of getting to the apex court in the country, usually after giving any judgment, and the person whose judgment is not to his favor, indicates an interest to take the case to the appellate level. The common thing, the common thing is the status quo as it is, is maintained. In this country since 1999, about 17 or 18 deputy governors have been impeached. When Mr. President, His Excellency Bola Tinubu was, president, was the governor of Lagos State, Bukna Akerele was, our Akerele Bukna, I don't know which conference, was impeached. Femi Pedro was impeached. Recently, in Kogi State, the deputy governor to Yaya Bello was impeached. Why I'm not against Philip Shoaibu going to the court to challenge the duties of the House of Assembly, and I'm not going to dwell on that. It is very, very, very wrong for Philip to resort to self-help. If you wanted to resort to first self-help in the first instance, why did he approach the courts at all? There are processes to executing court judgments. That is why you have the beliefs in court, that is why you have the law enforcement agents. So what he did was, is part of the, their grand plan to see if they could attract <coughs> Mr. President to invoke state of emergency on a do state and possibly bring some APC people to come to those state as administrators, which is completely against the principles and tenets of democratic rule. That is, that is purely their plan. And the next thing is for them to blackmail the commissioner of police. I watched Andrew Walter talking yesterday on Democracy Today in, uh, uh, in the IIT, saying that the commissioner of police should be removed. It was at the airport when it happened. The question that I want every Nigerian to ask, when they were coming, as at the time they said the police, the policeman may so rest in peace, was shot. There were 
at least 20 mobile policemen in their convoy. And they saw from where they were shot. No, this is not the case of a sniper shooting someone. Why did they not retaliate? Somebody carries a gun and, and kills your colleague in your presence. And I was looking at the body of that person they paraded around town. His hands were put in his pocket, and I did not see blood. I don't know whether any of you saw blood. I didn't see. And then, they, you saw them parading with the body, and they were now people that are mourning, that are grieved. The kind of violence you will see that will erupt will be an uncontrolled violence. But this was controlled violence. So they said that even when they got to the bar house, you could hear... Tony Kabaka telling them, not be there, we say you go. Uh, where was it? But he was calling one kind of whether Koboko or Koroko or something. And say, that's what you always they do, those kind of things. The days of Agbiroizi is gone. And uh, those states have moved beyond that point. We will not elect Agbiroz back in government. And uh, those state is on the path to becoming the number one state in this country in terms of infrastructure, building, educational uh, system, build up, and institutional building. With the civil service reform, I cannot remember the last time we heard that a pensioner died queuing for his uh, pension. I want to urge our people not to be intimidated. Your votes will count. All they are trying to do now is to look at different ways to disenfranchise you. What is their business with people wearing face caps yesterday and they were, and they were fighting them? If we choose to retaliate, there will be commotion in this state. But we we'll urge everybody to stay calm, continue to campaign. Who you are voting for remains in your conscience and your heart and you tell your friends. On that day, go and cast your votes for the candidate of the PDP because it is He's the only one right now in the race that can take a dose, like I always say, to the next level of progress. Make one another forget, say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We know they take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ujisele, TMC TV News.